my fucking phone. Yeah. Mission accomplished, sir. We took out the ambassador and we got a couple of cops, too. It's icing on the cake, my friend. Icing on the cake. Now get your ass back here. Got a lot of work to do. Beside the still waters, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Corporal David Ross, having been convicted of the crime of murder by a general court martial convened under the uniform code of military justice, and have been sentenced by such court to the penalty of death, it has been and hereby is ordered that such sentence be carried out forthwith. Have you anything to say? No, sir!
Ready. Aim. General Clay, sir. Tell him why we're here. 36 hours ago, intelligence support activity intercepted a communique from Iraq. It had full details of a highly secret international summit to be attended by some of the most violent terrorists in the world. No shit. Shen Khan has directed us to assemble a commando unit to carry out a surgical strike against these terrorists. A commando unit made entirely of convicted military prisoners who are sentenced to death. If anyone found out we were allowing a terrorist convention in our own backyard, well, let's just say it would be a uh, public relations nightmare. So it leaves out the option of an airstrike. Exactly. Not to mention the presence of civilians in the area. The CENTCOM feels that the same quality that got these men in prison in the first place Brutality, viciousness, violence. They're the exact same qualities that we're looking for for this particular mission. This is the man who arranged for the terrorists to enter the country. Hooker. Riley Hooker. Colonel Riley Hooker. Dishonorably discharged three years ago and then just disappears. He resurfaces as some goddamn leader to a domestic militant militia organization. He was in your unit in Desert Storm, wasn't he? Uh... Part of Operation Spiderfall? Half my platoon wiped out. 22 good soldiers needlessly killed. And you got transferred to a dead-end desk job while he skated. I know what you're doing. No, I'll get him. But on my terms, no outside interference. We operate completely independent of Army regs. My rules. If any of my men survive, their sentences will be commuted, and they'll be eligible for parole. And that gentleman is take it or leave it. I'll take it. <laughs> hey, what's up? Dallas is Chicago confirmed. Chicago Kurt. confirmed. These bastards finally. Yeah. Kurt, we have a here. Okay. Check on Detroit again for me, all right? Go, go. How you doing? Fine, how's it going, Colonel? No, I'm not well. I'm not at all well, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm uh, sorry to hear it. I understand you got picked up by the local police. M my car uh, registration's expired. I uh, forgot to get it renewed. I, it ain't no big deal. I'll take care of it right away. Sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. <laughs> we can't have sloppy, Striker. You know how much I hate sloppy. Yes, sir. Fuck it. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Fucking car registration anyway. Besides, you know, you don't look very well. You need some rest. <laughs> don't worry, I'll take care of everything, all right? Yes, sir. Thanks, Colonel. Yeah, no mention. Oh, Stryker! One more thing. I've decided to take you off of active duty. Yeah, car registration, my ass. <laughs> Would someone please clean up the body? He's bleeding all over my ship. Gotta tell you, Duke, you picked some real winners here. Well, Jack, they give us lemons, we make lemonade. <laughs> Shit, lemons would be a step up. What do you got there? Rancich, Eddie, real sweetheart. 
Convicted of aggravated arson, first degree murder. His commanding officer's wife. Cody, Keith, armed robbery, first degree homicide, and the commission of a dangerous felony. Matsuda, Billy, convicted of rape, first degree murder. They found 42 stab wounds on her before they lost count. Gomez, Luis, murder by means of lying in wait, his wife. Detman, Glenn, first degree murder, killed a guy with one punch, claimed he was cheating at cards. Mills, Frank, narcotic smuggling, three counts of first degree murder, took out his business partners with a hatchet. Wallace, Anthony, kidnapping, false imprisonment, and murder. Jack, let's go squeeze some lemons. Prisoners, fall in. Ten, hut! Good morning, gentlemen. As you might remember, my name is Sergeant Major Ransom, and you will address me as Sergeant Major or Sir. I will address you as anything I damn well please. Today, we're looking for a few volunteers. This is bullshit. <laughs> Will you repeat that again properly? This is bullshit. Sir. <laughs> Give me a weapon now. Listen, you long-haired sissy fuck, I'll blow your brains out right now. I'll save the army the cost of an execution. Are we clear? Huh? Yes, sir. Get him out of here now. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. Back inside. How you doing, Rancic? From the way I feel and the way you look, we're both in deep shit, sir. <laughs> Sense of humor. Doesn't say much about that in your records. Doesn't say a lot of stuff in there. Well, I'll tell you what it does say. It says you like to play with fire. Matter of fact, you like to play with it so much that you torch your commanding officer's quarters. Also says you're stupid. So stupid you forgot to check to see if anybody was home. You gotta learn to control that temper of yours. Look, Sergeant Major. Just what the hell do you want, anyway? Well, I got a proposition for you. You can take it or you can leave it. If you take it, it's gonna mean training like you never trained before. It's pretty much a very good chance you're gonna die at the end of it all anyway. The hell with that? You telling me you can spring me? Well, with the understanding you screw up one time, I'm gonna have you back here looking down the barrel of an M16, and I will pull the trigger myself. Look, Sergeant Major, we sort of got off on the wrong foot here. I'm your man. Trust me. Yeah, I'd be damn stupid to do that, wouldn't I? How do I know what you're telling me is true? Masuda, you're a smart guy. Why don't you think about it? You're gonna sit here on your ass, you're gonna die anyway. Why don't you come with me? Come with you? And what? I get to die in the field like the rest of them? Well, there'd be an improvement over this, don't you think so? Are you with me or not? You got five seconds. Time's up. I'm with you, Sergeant Major. Right behind you. Well, you never get that close, son. I'll do anything you want. I don't care who I have to kill to get out of this stinking cell. I just have to get the hell out of here. Then you've earned three citations for hand-to-hand -hand combat. And you're a trained assassin. Just how good are you? I'm the best you've ever seen, compadre. Be glad I'm on your side. Take a whole platoon out for you before breakfast. Sergeant Major, just stand back. Way back. Man, y'all gotta learn to relax. You're gonna give yourself a stroke or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I told you, I'm coming with you, man. Ain't no big thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It is a big deal, you punk ass rapper. It's the biggest deal of your life. Are we clear? You better watch your back. Crack, bastard.
going, Frankie? Thank you. Salud. Is he bothering you? You got a problem, Chief? Yeah. You, Chief. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, ah! You're gonna break my back. <laughs> Honey, this is Duke Ransom. I spent some of the worst years of my life in the service with this guy. And, uh, Duke, this is, uh, Sherry. Sherry? You jerk. <laughs> So, uh, you look like you're doing pretty good. Oh, I'm doing all right. I mean, it ain't like getting shot at, but it's a living. So, you're trying to tell me that uh, you, you miss the service? Yeah, like I miss having VD. <laughs> <laughs> so, what they got you doing, Dookie boy? I mean, are you still babysitting the criminally insane? Well, uh, I'm moving up in the world, Danny boy. They got me training uh, these death row inmates to give me three weeks to turn them into soldiers for this hush-hush mission. And I bet you volunteered for it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, you're more fucking gone than I thought. I mean, you're gonna lead a group of lunatics and psychos on some secret mission? You want some advice? Watch your back. Phone, Dan. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. I'll be right back, I gotta get the phone. <laughs> Sergeant Major. How are you? Getting by. So you're about the same. I've got work Wait, to do. Wait, come here. I just want to... Don't, Don, don't start. Not here. Not now. I just want to tell you I am. I miss you. I missed you too. The whole last three years of our marriage. Of course, you probably don't remember. I was alone. You had company. you will be trained in the tactics and methods of commando warfare. You will be worked to death and worked some more. If anybody breaches security or tries to escape, I will personally kill him myself, and the rest of you will be immediately transported back for execution of sentence. There will be no exceptions. There will be no excuses. It's one for all and all for one. Are there any questions? Yes, Sergeant Major. You told us everything except what the hell we're doing. And when are we going to find that out? It's on a need-to-know basis. Is there anything else? All right, you'll be transferred to the training site at 0600 hours. I suggest you get some rest. From now on, the only easy day was yesterday. You better take a good look around, because your life now depends upon one another.
bullshit. What the hell is this? And where's the goddamn bumps? Woo, woo, woo. Oh! What the fuck you think this is, Wallace? This is the doghouse! Bunks will be provided at such time as the Sergeant Major feels that you're ready to occupy them, gentlemen. And where the fuck you and the Sergeant Major gonna sleep, dickhead? Rancich. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna tell you where you can find me asleep, you're dumber than I thought. Now, you people better hurry up. I wouldn't keep the Sergeant Major waiting if I were you. Yeah, yeah, Sergeant. But when do we eat? Is that all you think about? You should do, Smurf. All right, gentlemen, first order of business. We're gonna get you into some kind of decent shape. Commando shape. We're gonna start out with whistle drills. Yes, sir. That's pathetic. Looks like a bunch of girls out here. You're gonna start thinking about prison wars and some bad. Let's do it again, let's do it right. Let's go, man, suit it down! Let's go, come on! Let's go, males! Get down there! Get lower to the ground right now! Come on! Get up there, move your body, gentlemen! You big, fat lord! Get up over that rope, man, suit up! Move your body, males! Come on, fat man! Let's go! Get over that rope, man, suit it right now! Get over there! Get over there right now! Get up there! Come on, fat man! Is that all you do? Get back over there and do it right! Come on! Go there, Ramsex! Get up and over right now, one at a time! That's it! Get up, let's go! One at a time! Let's go, Mills, come on! Chamber the round. Chamber the round. Okay, squeeze. Uh, next, come on. Let's go, Devin. Chamber the round. There you go. You're ready. You're hot. Get out of here. System. This sad excuse for a nation and its useless law, it's time to take it back. Gentlemen, we have become a nation of greedy cowards, no direction or purpose. Nothing separates us from the third world. The slime that oozes through our unenforceable borders. It's a fucking sieve. <laughs> for the vile, it's a feeding ground, for Christ's sake. For the Cubans, the Mexicans. The Vietnamese, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Pakistanis, the Kikes, the Nips, the Spooks, the Zips, the Spiggerheads. They just walk across our borders. A family drives down the wrong street and they're gunned down by niggers. Why? Because they're on their turf. They call themselves men. They're cowards. They can't read, they can't write, but they deface our buildings with the name of their gangs. Well, this is America, and in America, we speak fucking English. <laughs> Kudos. Ah, yes. Grand prize goes to the American judicial system for letting that lying, cowardly, wife-beaten motherfucker go free. We need to take all stupid, miserable, ungrateful, diseased, welfare sucking, gun toting, drug using, non-English speaking. Rap music, listen to motherfuckers out, shoot them! <laughs> now I ask you again, do you understand your assignments? 
Well, good. Together, demonstrating discipline and control. In the next couple days, your training will continue in how to defend yourself against a gun, knife, and club, and even a guy twice your size. Shit, there ain't nobody twice that man's size. Hey, screw <laughs> you, eight ball! What you call me? I believe the word was eight ball. Well, what's that? Your IQ or the number of times you've gotten laid? Fuck you too, asshole. Oh yeah, come what on. What I'm talking about? Control here, okay? What you learn here might save your life or somebody else. I suggest you start listening right now, everybody. Matsuda. Why don't you tell your friends how you got caught? No, sir. No, why don't you tell them what a smart Jap you are? Tell them how you stabbed a defenseless woman 40 times and you forgot to leave the scene of the crime. Fuck you, Sergeant Major. Fuck all of you. Gomez. What about you? We got another criminal genius here, gentlemen. Blew his wife away because he thought she was sleeping around on him. It turned out she was babysitting, trying to earn some extra money for his family. How does that make you feel? Well, you're one dumb speck. Duh. Duh. Cody! Well, gentlemen, this is the Einstein of the group. He got drunk and he knocked off the liquor store. Almost made it too, didn't you, Cody? What happened? Driving the getaway car, he ran over a little baby, wasn't it? A little child? How old was that little child? Three, maybe four years old? You're a, you're a baby killer, Cody. You'll always be a baby killer. That hurts, doesn't it, huh? Detman. Detman here has set new standards for the world of stupidity, even for a Nazi skinhead. Killed a guy with one punch because you thought he cheated you out of six bucks. I mean, what were you gonna do with all that money? Take a vacation to the Riviera? No, sir! Shut I... up! You're stupider than you look! Piece of me. Mills! No, Mills here, he takes the cake. He got stoned. He went out and hacked three men to death. Then he walked back into his barracks covered in blood. I mean, were you trying to make a fashion statement? You're a pretty boy, aren't you? You like blood. You like boys. You like bloody boys, don't you? Mm -hmm. Do you want to kiss me? Do you? Mm -hmm. Wallace! us to our African-American nigger. What do you see, Sergeant? Self-defense, sir. Clearly. That's the point here, gentlemen. You lose control, you lose your life, or you get somebody else killed. Now get him back to the barracks. Fuck off. 
all of you saps. I'm out of here. <clears throat> Get your hands off me, you stupid fucking ape. You want to stay here? Fine. I got plans. Remember, you fool. It's one for all, all for one. That's what the sergeant major said. You try to get out of here, we all get the shaft. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And just what the hell are you going to do about it? I just want to let you know that you definitely improved here. Today we're going to be in the ring. This will be a vital part of your training. That's why I've called a very special friend of mine to instruct you. Cynthia Rothrock. She will lead you through your next phase of training, which is to never underestimate your opponent. First, she needs to get your attention. Do I have any volunteers who would like to take her on? Excuse me, Sergeant Major. What is it, Wallace? I don't know about my homies here, but uh, I can't be hitting on no woman. Well, at least not with my fists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. The instructor can handle herself. But can she handle this, Sergeant Major? That's enough of that crap. He is right, sir. She is a girl. <laughs> very observant, guy. <laughs> Anyone else feel the same? Uh, no, sir. So, Lance, did you want to have a problem with our uh, instructor's gender? Oh, well, no, sir. She's a kung fu bitch, right? Woo! I'll take her ass. You think you can take her? Oh, ain't no thinking about it, sir. It's just a fact. Cynthia, do you have something to say about that? Well, with all due respect, sir, I think your men are full of shit. Would you like to take them on all at once or one at a time? Together would be quicker. But either way, it's your call. <laughs> yes. Oh. You hear that, man? It's my call. Rance, are you a betting man? Well, I've been known to make a wager or two in my time. Yes, sir. OK, man, here's the deal. If any one of you can take Miss Rothrock, Bronx will be provided for the remainder of your time here. Uh -huh. Ooh, there we go. Like if not, whistle drills the rest of the day, courtesy Mr. Rancich. Gotta right. do it, man. Hey, 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 hands off. Agreed? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. Agreed. Yes, sir. Agreed. Yes, sir. Cynthia, anytime you're ready. Let's do it. Rancich, you're up first.
What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at that. Yeah. Oh. I think I handled that okay. Not bad for a girl. Not bad for a guy. How are you gonna do that, man? You gonna fuck him up? You couldn't even fuck what's her name up, <laughs> man. She used you like a used condom. <laughs> yeah, she fucked all you motherfuckers up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you done, little man? Oh, be my guest, Mr. Goodyear Blim. Well, thanks, Superhead. <laughs> Superhead. Damn. Listen up, guys. I have spent a lot of time in jail thinking about this stupid thing that I did. Now Sergeant Major is giving us a second chance. I'm sure this mission is gonna be more than we bargained for. But I'd rather die with a gun in my hand than sit around the joint waiting for the firing squad. Mm -hmm. That's damn right. So gentlemen, let's kick some ass. I'm down. I'm in. I'm down. Let's do it. Man, I would have been the first to bet that trying to make soldiers out of you would have been a losing proposition. So it's only fair to admit that I uh, might have been wrong. Today in the ring with Miss Cynthia Rothrock, you put on a very good show. So I reported to CENTCOM just how well you're doing here, and they in turn have given you your own official designation. From now on, you will be known as Operational Detachment Tiger 525 Tiger Team. Yeah! All right, all right, settle down. Finish up here and head back to the barracks. We're gonna hit it hard and early in the morning. with all the arrangements? Yes, sir. Our munitions and arms are ready to be distributed. Arrangements are on the move throughout the country to their target destination. Swine in Washington. About to get their eyes ripped out of their sockets. They're about to hear the sounds of the revolution because this country belongs to the people. 
And whenever they grow weary of the existing government, they can exercise their constitutional right to amend it. Or their revolutionary right to dismember or overthrow it. Radical words, my friends. You know who spoke those words? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> All we are doing is exercising our constitutional right. Good. This time when you kick, you turn the hip into it a little bit more. It'll give you more power and it'll set you up for the next kick. Right. Two. That's it. Good. Okay. You guys take care. It was good working with you. Oh, uh, we will, miss. Thanks for everything. That's Thanks for having so See you next time. time. Really okay, all right. Back to work. Let's go. Focus on your work right now. That was damn good. Damn good. Well, you better be careful. Pretty soon these guys are going to be able to take you. Well, if what the brass has in mind for them, uh, they better be able to. Why don't you look me up when you get back, all right? I sure will. Promise? from CENTCOM today. There's a, uh, another unit that's training for this mission, a Navy SEALs unit. I didn't tell you about it before because I didn't know about it myself. General, so you, you can't do this. You've uh, made a deal with these men. It's out of my hands. You're, uh, your boys will be sent back in the morning. You mean you want to return my men for immediate execution of sentence? Isn't that right, sir? Bullshit. These men are trained like horses. They're actually starting to look like soldiers. You can't do it to them. You can't do it to us, sir. Hell down, Sergeant Major. That's an order. You're disappointed. That's understandable. So am I. I knew you had a lot riding on this. Though of your performance, I'll, uh, I'll talk to the front office. It's not about me, sir. That's not my concern. I gave my word. We all gave our word. All right. It is bullshit. This thing's bigger than both of us. Look, they are not going to entrust this mission to a bunch of disorganized ragtag convicts. End of story. How about it if I put my man up against any unit in the service? Well, I, look, I know you men are shaping up. I know they're looking better, but come on, dude. General, that's not a bad idea. What about a contest between Tiger Team and the Navy Z? Be out of your minds. I mean, I can't sanction a thing like that. Can I? General, the whole damn thing's off the record. It's a black op. You even said that yourself. Put Navy team up against ours, man to man, in the ring, full contact. Let us prove to you that our men are ready. And if each one of our men defeats each one of theirs, you'll let us have the job. Any one of our men loses, deal's off. End of discussion. All right, Duke, you got a deal. If your boys beat those Navy SEALs, I'll make generals out of every damn one of you. Yeah, I know it's bullshit, man, but that's the way it is. What the fuck? 
fuck's really going on here, Sergeant Major? Didn't I tell you those jokers upstairs would blow us off? Yeah, damn it. yeah this sucks, Sergeant Major. It ain't fair. Bitchy officer bastards. Look, there's nothing we can do about it, all right? That's the way it is. If we win, the mission's on. If we lose, you know what the hell's gonna happen. SICOM doesn't think you're ready. They don't think you can pull this off. They believe Navy team is tougher, stronger, and better soldiers. I believe they're full of shit. Of course they're full of shit. They're a bunch of fucking officers. Yeah. You're damn right. It's up to you to prove how wrong they are. Everything we've trained for is on the line now. What the hell? We need to practice anyway. Right. When do we start? Right now. Go, go, go! Yeah! talking about, Pendejo? Who do you think? Ransom. Jesus Christ, the son of a bitch set this up. What, you think he didn't know that this was coming all along? Fuck. And now we take the big fall. He played us for a bunch of saps, which is exactly what we are. Hey, you're full of shit, ranchers. Yeah? Yeah. How do you know? I know. That's how I know. What, you think he's doing this for his health? You think he cares about you? Or you? Or me? God damn. He has got his own agenda. They all do. We get the shit beat out of us tomorrow, and he gets a goddamn reassignment while we go back to the cooler and wait for a fucking execution squad. That's it! Now, you boys, just think about that for a little bit. Service records of the guys on the Navy's team. And you don't ask. But they're good, Duke. They've been in training for nine weeks. It's gonna be an uphill battle. In fact, the whole thing's been an uphill battle. Don't go lose your confidence on me now. And their commanding officer, Ron Jaco. Freaking Jaco? Mm hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. Finished right behind you in training school, didn't he? Yeah. Slumball never let me forget it either. Tried to trip me up at every turn, took every shortcut there was, cheated every chance he got, and the bastard still came in second. Well, we got more important things to think about, like his team. No matter how good these guys are, Jack, we got something they don't have. Jack, they lose, they go home. Our guys lose, it's the firing squad. I think the incentive is on our side. Mm. Jaco, shit is getting personal. Jack, real frickin' personal.
Krause, Mancini. Ladies, y'all sure do look pretty today. Oh, yeah. Nice outfits, too. <laughs> Fuck you, you greasy Boy, shell hey. back. Ooh, <laughs> shut up. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there's plenty of time for that later. Look, have any of you guys seen the Sergeant Major? Oh. You mean he's not here? No, I can't figure it. Oh, hell, I can. General Clay, sir. That is, Sergeant. Where's the Sergeant Major? I'm sure he's on his way, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, General. Morning, Commander. Good to see you again, sir. It's a hold up, Sergeant. Well, no hold up, sir. Just waiting for the Sergeant Major. Should be here any second. My men are anxious to get going. I'm sure his men are. We're on a rather tight training schedule, General. You understand? I understand, Commander. All right, Sergeant Brooks. We start in two minutes. Ransom or no ransom? wrong, Moose, is in your thick skull. Shit, we ought to just give up right now instead of waiting to get the shit kicked out of us. Okay, Butch, you know the drill. Come on, get Yes, in. sir. Let's go. So hold up, Sergeant. So where the hell, Sergeant Major? Don't worry, I sent somebody to look for him. Okay, Detman, you're up first. Hmm? Huh? I thought the sergeant major wanted the smaller guys to go in first. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the sergeant major's not around at the moment. I want to start with our best shot, get some momentum going. You're up. Oh, no. Detman, come on. Don't give me a hard time about this. Just get in there. We need you in the ring. Okay. That's right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, right. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come 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 on.
Yeah. Any sign of the sergeant major? No, not yet. What? Cody? You're up next. Come on, kick some ass, Cody. Go, Cody. Go, Cody. Go, Cody. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Three down, three to go. Rancic, Matsuda, Gomez. Good, good, man, good. Rancic, you're next. All right. Who are we, man? Tigers! Who are we, man? Tigers! Let's go! Tigers! I thought you two understood the mission. Sir, I hit him three times. I, I, we I had him know. locked in a utility shed, unconscious, sir. I didn't think you could handle it. I would have sent two of the troops in. Yes, sir. Two things, Commander. Number one, I want my weapon back. Number two, there's gonna come a time when it's just you and me. And when that time comes, I'm gonna rip your fucking heart out of your chest.
shit. you make something happen real goddamn quick. I'm gonna hold you both personally responsible. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go, Mass. Come on, come on. All for one, one for all, buddy. Let's go, man. Right, go, Mass. My right lord. It's up to you, soldier. I'll make it happen, sir. Okay. Yes, you yes, will. Go on, on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Mongo. I think you know how important this is. Commander just chewed our ass, and our careers are on the line. Now, I know you can do this. And if you don't take this guy out, I will personally see to it that you're doing right. Do you understand me? Yes, sir! Get up there and show him what the team's made of! Come on!
Congratulations, Sergeant Major. If I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't believe it. As a matter of fact, I'm still having a hard time believing it. Thank you, sir. Uh, don't thank me, Sergeant. These men don't realize it now, but they just brought themselves a first-class ticket into hell. A few days from now, half of them won't even be around to celebrate. team is now moved from training status to operation. We move on the target tomorrow night. Our job will be to get on board this ship where a group of terrorists are assembled, and we are to kill them, not wound them, capture them, kill them. CENTCOM has left the specifics of the assault up to us, and I will not insult you by lying to you. There's been fun and games up to this point, but now it's the real thing. It's real bullets, real blood, real death. And that requires real soldiers. And you men now fit that bill. I'd be proud to walk through any hellish situation with you. Which is exactly what we're about to do. The target is docked in port behind eight-foot chain-link fences topped with razor wire. There's a series of underground tunnels located in this area, which used to be used for fuel supply and oil transfer lines. The drop-off point will be here, outside the perimeter. Moving through the tunnels would take us inside the perimeter, coming up right here. And Wallace, you'll be up first. You'll be positioned right here with your laser scope sniper rifle. As we board the ship, you cover us. And in the event we're discovered, you start picking people off. You just make damn sure it's not one of us. Everybody clear on this? Our objective is to plant charges in storage holes located between decks two and three. Those holes contain their explosives. Once we get on the ship, we split into two teams. Detman, Rancic, and Matsuda is the first team. Cody and Gomez will come with me. Next, Rancic, I want you to set your timer for five minutes. I'll do the same for my team. That should be plenty of time to get off the ship, pick up Wallace, through the tunnels, and back to the rallying point. Men, I want to keep the gunplay to a minimum. Stick to what you've been taught. Hand to hand, gentlemen. Fire your weapon only as a last resort. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's review it again. Matsuda. Drop off here at point X, sir. Cody. Next, um, into the tunnels. Wallace. Out of the tunnels, Wallace into position with sniper rifle. That's right. Detman. We all scale and board the ship. Good. Gomez. Once on the ship, Tiger Tim splits in two. Good. Matsuda. Both teams make for the storage hold, sir. Rancic. Charges are placed, timers are set. Cody. We both make for the deck. There you go. And that gives us five minutes to exit the ship, pick up Wallace through the tunnels, home free.
Take out the garbage. Show's over, folks. What's up, man? You haven't said two words all night. Is that bad, huh? I know you can't tell me any more than you already have. You aren't coming back, right? What do you think? They can't kill you. Or you. Too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Frankie at the bar. Take it back. I'm sorry. I, I thought you said take it back. I did. I'm off it, Jess. Well, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> what you said about being off it? Is that for good? Well, um, no promises. But, uh, shit, I've broken enough of those already to you. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna try. I got something I gotta do. And I have a... Here. Oh. You take, no, you take this. You deserve it. It's uh, a debt I can never pay and a time I can never get back. Sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. We're gonna talk about it when you get back. Yeah. I was figuring, uh, since you told me you were going to lead a bunch of lunatics and psychos, that you could use a couple more. And besides, <laughs> think I was going to let you have all the goddamn fun? What in the hell are you doing? Y you tell me. You're a one damn fool. That's affirmative, sir. Sergeant Brooks? Yes, sir. Issue our new men weapons and ammunition. Yes, sir. You stay in the background and you follow my lead. Haven't I always? Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's Come go! On.
You all know why you're here? Welcome. I thank you for coming. <laughs> and this nation. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Only after we overthrow this so-called democracy. Now, I want to acknowledge some of the players in this historic action. The Red Brigade, the Shining Path, the Libyans, they're here, the Iraqis, the Khmer Rouge, the Shiites. We are the new world order. Our time has come. All the boundaries are off. We have the moral right to fulfill our destinies by every means possible, every fucking means, to overthrow this corrupt evil that is the U.S. government. Now, we must make sure that every target we hit, we hit with the violence that we need to bring confusion and terror. We must make all other acts of violence look tame by comparison. Do you understand me? Because these motherfuckers are ready to be taken. And we are their wake-up call. We're taking out malls. We're taking out schools. We're taking out office buildings. We're taking out state agencies and federal agencies. Everybody's targeted. Yeah. That's right. No one gets out of this one. But there's a price to pay, my friend. Some very good, hard-working civilians will die. Nothing can stop us this time. Sage Cassidy, go check it out. Stay calm. It's under control. I got my two best men on it, all right? Now let's get back to work. Don't worry about it. Come on. Hooker! 
Oh, Dookie, is that you? <laughs> Dressed up in all that bullshit? Oh, man. You still working for the man? How's that pension fund coming, huh? <laughs> it's a small world, brother. And it's about to get smaller. Wait a minute, man. I'm an unarmed man. You can't shoot me. You call yourself a man, do you? How can you talk to me like that? I'm the man who saved your life at least a dozen times. You saved my life? That's right! You got the blood of 22 good soldiers on you. Fuck that! Dead because you ran out. Look at you. Look at you! Still fighting in the shadows. Picking on people who can't fight back. Your number's up, baby. Put down night, huh? Let's party. Just you and me, like the old days. You remember the booze and the broads? <laughs> Come on, baby. You just, just you and me, one on one. <laughs> Put down the heat, really. Come on, just you and me. We'll party, baby. You want to party? Huh? Just you and me. It is you and me. Put down the it gun, man. It is you and me. Just right party now. time. It is you and me. Put up party. party. You want to party, do you? Come on, party. Let's do it, you baby. Get... Come on. Is that all you got, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Termination of 16 international fugitives, excluding Riley Hooker. And all field operatives have been successfully apprehended. Our honored dead, Private Glenn Dittman, Private Keith Cody. The records will indicate that they were returned to full active duty with all rights and responsibilities. And the families will know that they died as heroes in the service of their country. Mr. Chester Edwards will be posthumously awarded the Civilian Medal of Honor. It is hereby ordered that the sentences of Corporal Rancic, Corporal Matsuda, Private Gomez, and Private Wallace be discharged in full, and they be returned to active duty with all rights and responsibilities. Corporal Daniel Storm, retired, is here with us today to receive the United States Army Distinguished Medal of Honor. For bravery above and beyond the call of duty, Sergeant Major Donald Ransom is awarded the United States Army's Distinguished Medal of Honor. He is appointed to field commission, rank of captain, and appointed commander of the operational unit, Tiger Team, American Tigers, which has been installed is an ongoing permanent unit. Gentlemen, you have the thanks of a grateful nation. And may I say, the boys are gonna be a tough act to follow. 